There's a pass to the right wing side. Now it comes to uh, Wells. Wells. He, tried, he centered it. A shot. Oh, and a save by Barman again. As that looked like it was going in the back of the net. And Barman slid across and made another stop. 13.44 to go. And it's just more of the same. We get to the midway point of the hockey game. Ten minutes to go in the second period. And still nothing in the net. Here's her gang now down the left wing side. The Wells. Wells walks in. Shoot scores. Well, eventually that. Oops, oh, sorry. I was going to say, just as I say it, the Oilers score, and it's one to nothing. Schindel after it, plays it back for Bremer too far, and chipped up ahead for Cody off his skate, and now chopped back in for Kendall. Kendall in front for Schindel, shot, score! Well, I guess that's how you beat Riley Morris, and the flexion into the bar, and it's 1-1. One -one. Beautiful little play there. Kendall just put it right on his tape. And Schendel just chipped it up with the with the lob wedge up over the shoulder, picked a corner, and were tied 1-1. Finally, they found a way to beat Riley Morris, and uh, the Kodiaks are still alive. Uh, still a lot of time to go in this game, but the, getting things tied up here is huge. Get into the Kodiak to the uh, Okotoke zone, Blankenberg, and uh, Bremer exchange unpleasantries. Oh, huge hit by Kinderchuk behind the net. Shot, score! is Matt Gervais. Oh, good for that kid. He deserves that one, but I didn't get the number who made the hit behind the net. I'm not sure if it was Millgate, but that set up the goal. It's 2-1 Kodiak. Comes to Corey Alley, and he'll dish it ahead to Dykstra. Kupka trying to catch up. Here's Dykstra. Kupka going to the front of the net. Dykstra walks in. He shoots. Oh, it went off the crossbar, and now McKinnon is hit there by Austin Wong, and now Cope goes after Wong, and now we're going to have some festivities as Cope knocks down Wong, and now in comes an Oiler, and look out. Kupka comes in and puts a headlock on Sukarov. They've been going at it for a while. Austin Wong gets out of the pile. Now we got Gervais involved with Roberts. There goes a visor into the crowd. Now Baznet on the far side. Who's that? Is that McKinnon, I think? Go. Down in the corner. Back to Lateroot. Left point. He'll get it to Bernard Docker. Bernard Docker from the right point. 27 seconds left in the power play. Laderoot fakes a shot. Back to Bernard Docker. Shot. Missed the net. Rebound comes to Laderoot on the near side boards. Laderoot now. Gets it to Huber. Back to Laderoot. Over in the side. A shot. They score. Blankenberg at the side of the net. And it's another power play goal. 11 seconds left in it. And the Oilers have tied this hockey game at two. Berg will dump it in. And Corey Alley picks it up, and that should do it for the period. Oh, my. No, it's not. As McKinnon takes a hit to the jaw. That one from Blankenberg caught him with his head down, and immediately uh, Brennan Davis jumped in. And uh, McKinnon still isn't up. He's still down on the ice, shaking his head. Wow. Wow. Well, it, the, the aggression is still there. And the refs are really going yeah. to have to jump on this one. Interesting to see if there's a penalty out of it. McKinnon is still down on the ice. Well, yeah, he took that pretty good, right square in the head. There was no penalty call on it. They'll have a whole intermission to discuss this, but uh, that's got to be something. Elbowing at the very least. Elbowing interference? Yes. There's there's a few ways there's they can go few. on this. Uh, boarding roughing now you got four officials out there somebody had to uh somebody had to see that and now they're going to uh discuss this so we'll uh we'll just stay with us here for a bit over just through the top part it there. almost looked like it snuck under the bar there. that's what i thought here's a shot by wilkie and a save by morris now mckenzie wilkie shot. he scores the well combined for a goal and it's 3-2 Kodiaks. Well Carson Welke took the puck off the draw there. He tried the wrap around and the puck just lit out to McKenzie in the slot. Meanwhile Morris he was down on his knees and he kind of lost his net a little bit. Lost his square to the post and uh, McKenzie just ripped it past him on the on the uh, blocker side. Not a chance for Morris once he lost his net and uh, the Kodiaks are up 3-2.
uh, with 13.30 to go here in the third. Holloway. Holloway through center. Around Kupka. Coriali knocked it away, but Holloway got it again. Now has to go behind the net. There's a hit from Cope. Now back comes to Wong. He'll leave it for Blankenberg. Back to Bernard Docker. In front, Holloway shoots. No goal! Oh, there's going to be an argument here. Seconds left in the power play. Now Carson Welke. Oh, what a hit! Oh, no, they're going to call that a penalty. Yeah, his elbow came up on the hit. He gave him a bit of a chicken wing. Uh, he did pop him pretty good. Oh, what they, my. What are they calling this here? I don't know. Both officials had their arms in the air with 4.08 to go. And charging. I didn't think charging. No, of all the uh, things, I didn't think charging. At home with the bingo card. Schwengler runs into his man on the far side. Penalty kill brought to you by Matthew Mayer at Central Agencies Real Estate Camrose. Thinking of moving to Camrose? Contact Matthew at Central Agencies Real Estate. They score. That was, that was bound to happen. The Kodiaks got a little scrambly in their own end, and the puck came back to the point, and uh, he just ripped it home past uh, Bowerman. And we're all tied up here uh, with 3.19 to go. Holloway now starts on the left wing side, gets by Corey Alley. Here's Holloway now to center, into Camrose territory. Dylan Holloway, a centering pass, and Gervais had Latterud tied up at the side of the net. Now Latterud comes up, he's hit there by Gervais and knocked down. Now Holloway, Gervais lost his helmet, this is not good. Now a centering pass, Latterud scores. Matt Gervais lost his helmet, had to get to the bench. Latterud left all alone. Backhand in, and the Oilers sweep the series. Post-game show coming up. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country, 981 FM, and online at newcountry981.ca.